This is a small part of Woodbury Road in Mapley, Nottingham. This is an even smaller part of Woodbury Road where you can find the Espresso Gallery. The Espresso Gallery is a small independent coffee shop that makes, in my opinion, some of the best coffee in Nottingham. Prove me wrong. Uh, the Espresso Gallery is run by two guys and their business partner, Yusuf, Abriz, and Mahmoud. Today we get the privilege of following around one of the baristas or baristesses. Her name is Naomi, and in her words, uh, she basically runs the place. Enjoy. How are you doing? You good, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the new shop. Yes. That was Naomi, and this is Yusuf. As I've said before, Yusuf is one of the owners of Espresso Gallery. I wanted to sit down with Yusuf and really understand the philosophy, purpose, meaning, and people behind the Espresso Gallery. I'm Yusuf. I am currently 31 years old. So I'm one of the co-founders. We were three of us that got together actually to, uh, to set up the business. We've been here, it's gonna be actually July, now, right now, we've, uh, five years actually we've been open. 2017, the year that I graduated from university, I was doing civil engineering. Well, I, I am, a, I work as a civil engineer, but uh, something completely different to that I had going on, which was, was this aspiration to have a coffee shop. My business partners at that time uh, was a breeze, who's uh, a couple of years younger than me, but we're, we're close friends and we have been for quite a while. Um, We've been wanting to set up our own business together. We've been thinking of different ways, you know. We, he's an accountant by trade, and I was going into civil engineering, and we thought, you know, other than just having a profession, you know, we had that kind of entrepreneurial kind of bug, you know. We're not the kind of people who were just happy with the nine to five and just get on with it. And one of my dad's friends, actually, uh, Mahmoud, you know, he'd set up coffee markets and that kind of stuff in Germany. So we said to him, look, let's put something together, the three of us, um, and start it as like a little bit of a project. This was uh, two years before we opened Espresso Guys. This must have been 2015. I was midway through my degree. I think the reason just finished his degree. It was kind of about the journey, really. We wanted to do a business. We wanted to go through the process of thinking up of a, of a business, finding a location, doing all of the business, kind of uh, forecasting and planning, all that kind of stuff. And so in terms of coming to a venue, we looked and looked and looked. There's so many places we looked at for venues, you know. Um, we, we, it was a very orga organic kind of process that we wanted to just, you know, go with what, push on certain doors and see what went, see what worked, see what didn't work. Expense as well was a big one. People wanting massive rents and all the rates and stuff that you have with working in the city and large premises and all that kind of stuff. And we were kind of getting a bit to a, to a bit of a, a loose end almost. It's been a couple of years now, we're trying to get this thing off the ground, we've got the idea, but we're struggling with the location, what we're going to do. In the end, Abriz was living on this road, Cooper Road, he used to live down the bottom there, and there's Alexandra Court, I think it was called, a big flat, he used to live around the, right the top. Anyway, so he's um, driven past here one time and just seen a paper in the window saying, shop to let. So we, um, we basically, we called, we called up and said, look, you know, you know, you've got this shop to let, uh, you know, what's the situation, what's the deal? And uh, that's when we met Toby. Um, and long story short, we ended up si sitting around a table upstairs in the, in the gallery um, and handwriting our contract. But there's all kind of funny clauses and bureaucratic stuff and technicalities and this, that and the other. Um, and so we just said, look, let's take out the clauses that make sense to us and that are relevant to us. We pretty much hand wrote uh, the contract then and there. 
uh, and sealed it over a handshake. You know, and that was kind of very uh, fitting for how we were how we were running the thing. We wanted it to be face to face, person to person. Uh, Toby used to run the shop as his um, studio. Toby's an artist, so he was doing it and he was producing his work and he was showcasing it to people. People would come, had a little kind of um, coffee stand as well where he'd serve coffee to his to his customers and whatnot. So we were bringing the coffee idea uh, and the art idea was already kind of established. So we thought, well, perfect, let's not brush that all away. It kind of fits in with what we want to do with the coffee and have you know very high quality coffee, very you know, uh, the, the best standard of everything. Uh, it fits in with, with art. Art is, is an expression of culture, expression of the, the highest levels of, of, of culture, you know. You often find that art being representative of the time and the culture that you find yourself in before people start to articulate it. It comes out and you can find that it comes out in the art. Like the surrealist art movement of the, the early 1900s you know, you can see that they were trying to put something forward that they couldn't perhaps put into words and then it starts to become articulate later on, you know. Um, and there's different mediums of communication, but art is, is kind of that raw, primal expression of, of, uh, of the artist and the society that they live in and the, the feeling that they have about, about where they live. Um, so it fit with what we wanted to do. So we kept the gallery and we kept the coffee and that's how the name came about espresso is is the is the base of all of our drinks you know and then you add water you add milk you add ice whatever you want to do to make your drink different to make it a latte a cappuccino an americano an ice latte whatever it all starts from the espresso so the espresso is the raw form and the, and the gallery so we just kept it simple espresso gallery and and that's where the name came from I think that's about all we have time for today, folks. Thank you for joining me on the third episode of Looking Glass. And a huge thanks to the people at Espresso Gallery for letting me follow them around and pester them with questions. I hope to see you on the next episode of the Looking Glass or maybe even see you at the Espresso Gallery for a coffee.